And now for the final ingredient, revenge. Sweet revenge. <laughs> oh, no, I'm rubbing my hands together maniacally. I've turned into Max. <sighs> I can't do this. Hold up, Angel. I gotta taste all Max's food before he eats it. You know, in case it's poisoned or delicious. No, no, Flucky, you don't wanna. Mmm, mmm. It's as good, Max. Oh, but my tummy's not. Oh, oh I'm starving. Whoa! Ah! Max, stop oh. oh. Max, I'm so sorry for not knowing you'd be home this early. Oh my gosh, Max, are you okay? It only hurts when I answer stupid, obvious questions. Oh. You're not gonna tell your mom we got rocks down here, are you? I'm not a rat. But I am Barb! That's what you get for filling my cage with rocks and turning me into a rabbit. What were you thinking, putting all those rocks in Max's lair? It was Billy's idea. Billy hasn't had an idea in 10 years, and he's 10! Wait, we're supposed to be coming up with ideas? Why didn't anyone tell me? Hank, Billy, I need you to clear out all those rocks so my baby can have his bed back. One day, son, we're gonna look back at all this and laugh. Don't try now. Your new collarbone's still mending. Here, Max. Got you a card. Uh, I am so sorry this happened to you. Don't be. It's not your fault. <laughs> and the only bummer is, if I can't go to school, I can't be president. That and my knee bends the other way. So what does that mean? It means I'm gonna run funny from now on. Oh, oh, and, and you're the new president. So you're gonna have to do the uh, smoothie machine unveiling. I don't know, Max. It doesn't feel right. Hey, you're gonna be a great president. Put on the sash. The sash of lies. What was that? <laughs> um, I said it's just my size. <laughs> I gotta go. if he didn't look like a snowman on his invisible motorcycle. Blame Flunky. And myself for being friends with a guy named Flunky. Yeah, that Russian plan hit him quick. What Russian plan? Uh... <laughs> ah! Why'd you do that? I'm sorry, I panicked. You know something. Spill it. Never. I know where you keep your bows. Not my babies. <laughs> okay, fine. Is everything set up? We all right, go for revenge. Good. When Madam President goes to make the first smoothie, it'll be anything but smooth. Good afternoon, students. And before his tragic accident, President Thunderman had a plan to bring healthy foods to the school. But all improvements come at a cost. So, we say goodbye to the art teacher, Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> so, that we may say hello to a smoothie machine. <laughs> Here to pour the first drink, the new President Thunderman. Thank you, everyone. We're all here to welcome proper nutrition to Hiddenville High. Max! That's right, Phoebe. Pour me a frosty glass of payback. Go ahead, Phoebe. Do it for your brother. And for me, I got a movie to catch. But mainly for your brother. Right. I don't deserve to be here. There goes my movie. 
This machine was my brother's idea, and it's my fault that he can't be here to make the inaugural smoothie. What is she doing? I think she's feeling bad for what she did. It's kind of sweet. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> oh, no, 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 she can't do this. If she feels bad, then I'll feel bad. So, Max, this smoothie is for you. And now I feel bad. <laughs> Push me. Baby, wait! Okay, I don't know what this is all about, but I'm really glad you're here. I need to tell you something. It's okay, I already know. I never meant for you to get hurt. Well, it's not like I didn't deserve it. I stole your ideas. But you made them better. You're actually a great class president, and you should be making the first smoothie. You're a good president. No, you're a good president. No, you're a good president. We're here to make smoothies! <laughs> That doesn't sound very healthy. That was meant for me, wasn't it? Don't ruin the moment. Ay, 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 Max Case, not importante. Sorry, I was in the middle of Spanish homework. You know, I'm busy, what do you want? Well, you said something really interesting earlier and I took note because that doesn't happen very often. So you called me down here to insult me? No, that's just a bonus. I called you down here to see something really impressive. Ta-da! Is it behind the two rabbits? It is the two rabbits. Dr. Colosso has been teaching me how to clone. Fortunately, they've all been coming out with two butts. Until now. Behold, one beautiful butt! <laughs> really need to get out more. Okay, before you go, you might want to see this. What did you do? Well, you said you wanted to clone yourself. That was an expression. Oh, so is this. I'm a stinking genius. <sighs> Max, this is so wrong. No, this is perfect. You get help with your boring life, and I have something that will impress Villain University. <laughs> a clone? The competition is tough. Jimmy Kleckner turned his grandmother into a zombie and was still waitlisted. Well, she does look exactly like me. Could she talk? I could talk all day about those cute shoes. I know, right? I mean, they were a little bit pricey, but whoa! <laughs> this is way too weird. I refuse to be dragged into another one of your wacky experiments. Oh, I know, I know. I've got stuff to do at two, three, four, and five. Get off my back calendar! Hmm. If only there were two of you. No, Max. If someone finds out you can clone, they might get an inkling that we're not your typical suburban family. No one will inkle. There will be no inkling. <laughs> She's a perfect copy of you. Same annoying voice, same cackling laugh, same dopey face. Okay, I get, get it. it. How do you stand him? It's not easy. <sighs> Don't worry. I'll be with her the whole time. I just want to see how she works in the real world. I don't think so, Max. Phoebe, this keyboard's not gonna play itself. <laughs> Actually, it has that option. Shut it, Billy. They need my help. Okay, I won't let you take her to Cherry's Bake Sale, but maybe she can shelf books for me at the library. And don't mess this up, Max. You'll expose us all. Well, since we're going to the library, I should probably return that book on neutrons, or there's gonna be a charge <laughs> on me. If only your jokes were as good as your cloning. You are just like her. Should have dialed back on the sass. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? Numbers are made of candy. Say what? Max, what's the first thing I taught you about cloning? The more butts, the bigger the cleanup. <laughs> yes, and the slightest bump, they turn dumb. Observe. <laughs> of string cheese. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's okay. It's just a little glitch. Look at me. I'm Dr. Fingertubes. <laughs> that might be something real Phoebe does when no one's around. We don't know. <laughs> Is that sandwich making you feel better about not having your thunder sense, sweetie? 
It would if I had my fancy mustard. Thanks. Do you really have to play golf right now? Hey, it's the only tea time I could get. So what's with all the penny gifts from Dimples up there? My mom feels bad I don't have my thunder sense. So I'm gonna keep working her until I get this. A 2,000 terabyte supercomputer with satellite connectivity. And after Phoebe's big save today, mom will do anything to make me feel better. Sweetie, I'm sending you brownies. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Bravo, kid. Way to make your complete lack of ability work for you. Four! No, 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 no. This means I have my thunder sense. I don't want my thunder sense. Tough break, kid. Looks like you're gifted. Coming down, honey. I brought you some milk to go with your brownies. Is there anything else you want? Like a hug? Actually, there is something I want to tell you. I like a 2,000 terabyte supercomputer with satellite connectivity. Two hugs. I don't have my thunder sense. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get you a computer, okay? <laughs> and remember, for every dollar we raise, 10 cents goes to saving the narwhals. 10 cents? That's it? Oh, well, the other 90 cents goes to me buying books on what is a narwhal. Oh, baby, there you are. Uh-huh. Now I'm over here. And now I disappeared. This is a weird game, even for me. Are these red velvet cupcakes any good? I don't know. <gasps> Let's find out. Oh, yeah. These are amazing. You're right. Oh, finger frosting. Face frosting. Phoebe. Oh, my name, Phoebe. <laughs> OK, I'll lure clone Phoebe under the table, then you grab her. Duct tape and rope. Should I be worried that you just happen to have this stuff handy? Not worried. Thankful. Oh, good. Max, you're here. Your sister has gone crazy. Also, what is a narwhal? I'm sorry about Phoebe. It's all the sugar. She can't handle it. Here, watch. Hey, Phoebe, you see the cupcake? You want it? Go get it, girl. Whee! Phoebe? Uh, she names all her cupcakes Phoebe. <laughs> okay, she's got the sugar shakes. All right. Maybe uh, we should help her. Uh, or maybe you should go help that baby narwhal stuck in that tree outside. This is exactly what we've been fighting against. <sighs> all right, great. Now that that's taken care of, I'll take the package to the layer while you head to the talent show. <gasps> talent show? Oh, no, wrong Phoebe! <laughs> she pinned me down, Max. I shoved a cupcake in my mouth. Note, clone Phoebe is freakishly strong, yet generous with baked goods. I knew it. You snuck out. Yeah, I snuck out. <laughs> to floss? <laughs> Okay, now I know you're up to something. You never floss. You don't even know how to floss. What's your point? All I'm saying is, I'm watching you. I'm also gonna watch the stairs, but mostly you. Better watch your back tonight, Max. Stumbles is on to you. I'm not worried about that amateur. She'll never catch me. Dun, dun, dun! What you got? What you got? What you got? Lasers. I've got lasers. Kids, stop using your powers. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves.
Now I'm off to keep the neighborhood safe. <laughs> ah! Sea monster! <laughs> Our neighborhood vandal put green dye in the community pool. <laughs> Some crime punchers, Captain, you are. Look at me. Do I have to? You're not funny. You're just a big dope with a really cool hat. Your days as captain are numbered. Wong out! He thinks he can outsmart me. What an amateur. Ah, oh, it's cute when you try. left you frozen, but this park already has a creepy statue. I knew it. I knew you were the neighborhood vandal. But I didn't know you were a tiny bike thief. This is mine. I'm not stealing it. Can you please get out of here? Not till you explain all this. Fine. I'm out here because I'm learning how to ride this thing, okay? You know how to ride a bike. Uh, uh. don't know how to ride a bike. Who doesn't know how to ride a bike? Can't believe you don't know how to ride a bike. Who doesn't know how to ride a bike? I'm living it. You don't have to keep saying it. It's OK, Max. I know plenty of teenagers who can't ride a bike. Really? No. <laughs> Why didn't you learn how to ride in Metroburg? Because in Metroburg, I had a jetpack. Here, I have to walk three miles to flirt with girls at the mall. And nobody likes a heavy breathing, sweaty flirt. Mom fell for it. <laughs> You gotta promise you won't tell anyone I can't ride a bike. I won't tell. You have to thunder twin swear. That's not a thing. Just say it! Okay, I thunder twin swear. Thank you. Get out of here. Whoa. Whoa. Wow! Get out! Don't look at me! The blog photographer just called. He'll be here any minute. Perfect. <clears throat> He'll take my picture on the crime puncher mobile, said picture will strike terror into the heart of that vandal and love into the hearts of our adoring neighbors. Well, Captain, want an egg pop? Boiled eggs covered in cake and icing? Egg pop? Finally, a snack that makes sense. Alert, alert. Angry mob approaching. Angry mob? That's a weird name for a photographer. You've done it this time, Thunderhead. What? I didn't do anything. Exactly. While you were sitting around sweating up that jacket, the vandal filled our mailboxes with dirt. Barb, go stop him. Why do I want to get my jacket dirty? It already stinks with failure. Mm. What's going on? The vandal shook again, and Darcy and Wong were sticking it to Dad. There's a dirt-covered vandal out there right now, sneaking around, and you're just letting him get away. You think it's easy to catch a criminal? It takes weeks of meticulous planning, uh, interviewing suspects, collecting evidence. There he is. <laughs> Max, can we see you for a second? Hey, everyone. What's going on? You should have stayed home and sat on eggs with me. What were you doing out there? He was obviously filling mailboxes with dirt. Are you punching crime, or is crime punching you? <laughs> Hold on, everybody. This is not what it seems. Max is innocent. Go on, Max. Tell them what you were doing tonight. Mom, Dad, I have a confession to make. I am the neighborhood vandal. What? This must be hard for you. <laughs> Smile! Okay, there's Wong. What's her plan? 
you have to stop over to those? It's my birthday. I deserve a treat. Okay, maybe if we ask the sensei nicely, he'll let us have Mrs. Wong back. He looks reasonable. All right, grasshoppers. Watch as your sensei breaks his own arm and then resets the bone. Ah! Ah! Yeah. You know what? You froze wrong, you handle this. All right, Matt Rats. Before our pizza party, we must bow to the chosen one. Oh, now's my chance. I'll grab Wong while Sensei Psycho has his back turned. Legend says that she and her Google eyes will return and inspire us with wisdom in. Brendan, put down that stuff, Crust. Your parents didn't pay for your class this week. <laughs> Nothing gets past Sensei Kenny, especially some bozo trying to rob from my dojo. Uh. <laughs> Funny story, um, this is actually my eye sculpture. I just didn't want to interrupt your weird pizza party. Who are you calling weird? I'm an unlicensed karate master. Brendan, break my finger. Ah! Put it back, put it back, put it back. Put it back. Ah! Yeah. You still want to rob my eye sculpture? Uh, please don't hurt you. I, I just want to take back what's rightfully mine. Okay. You have to fight for it. I can't fight you. You're insane. You're not gonna fight me. I have 27 broken bones. 28. <laughs> Beginner's class, struggle of doom. Beginner's class. You know, I'll take on these tots, but I'm warning you, I got fists of fury. Break some bones. Make the googly eye chosen one proud. <laughs> <laughs> and I have returned. The chosen one in a strip mall? I don't think so. Behold my googly eyes if you dare. Oh, please. Many people have googly eyes. Look at my assistant, Troy. Well, if I weren't the chosen one, would I be able to do this? That's not very impressive. It would be if I were floating, like in the painting. Yeah, that would be cool. Oh! It is you! You are the chosen one! Troy, you seeing this? Psst, Troy, over here. Everyone, Neil, this is amazing! Why are you here, great one? Do you want pizza? A free lesson? You need me to validate your parking? Brandon, get the step. No, I am here for the ice sculpture. Well, you can have anything you want. You want a kid? Brandon, get your shoes. That's a very generous offer, but just the sculpture will do. It's yours. Yes. Oh. <laughs> the chosen one meant to do that. Hey, chosen one, can we get the door? On it. Chosen one, out. Did y'all see that? You see that? The chosen one was in my dojo, floating. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on my flyer. I am. Yeah. Come, come in. Welcome to our home. We have ten of them, you know. Eleven, actually. But uh, the one in Hawaii is just used to store paintings and expensive fruit. <laughs> So, you, uh, steal any sandwiches lately? Hey, it's you. This night just went from lame to slightly less lame. Really? 
But what would you think if someone sabotaged this dinner in rude, disgusting, scorpion-related ways? I'd want to hang with that guy. But my parents would never let me. So it's probably the dumbest thing you could ever do. <laughs> Baby, I think I just did the dumbest thing I could ever do. Whatever did we do before spray cheese? <laughs> Thundermans, you say? Uh, any relation to the eminent superhero Thunderman? <laughs> <laughs> He's joking, mm. of course. Yeah. You look nothing like. Well, you're aware of what you look like. <laughs> 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 Not that funny. I am so sorry. For what? Everything. Excuse us. Phoebe, we have a problem. Besides that? Oops. Large money bills are falling out of my pockets. <laughs> it's worse than that. I sabotaged your dinner. <laughs> Don't worry about what you what? <laughs> I figured if dinner was a disaster, then Dad wouldn't lift the no on soups rule, so it's going to be a disaster. When? Where? How? Well, for starters, beekeeper. Hey, here's 20 bucks. Buzz off. And over here we have books. Attention, please. Dinner will be served in five minutes. William, I say when dinner will be served. Dinner will be served in five minutes. Get back in there! You use your children as the help? Oh, those aren't our children. <laughs> They're our tiny servants. Really? Oh, yes. Tiny servants are all the rage this season. They take up much less space. Our William sleeps in a cello case. <laughs> we have got to get one of those. I didn't know your family was so fancy. Yeah, just found that out myself. <laughs> Shall we adjourn to the formal dining room? Here we are. <laughs> I know how you feel. My parents embarrass me all the time. They do? Totally. But I get a feeling that they're gonna let us hang out. Oh, unless something goes horribly wrong. <laughs> Excuse us. <laughs> Things are about to go horribly wrong. You gotta stop doing that. Cole and I are totally hitting it off. Yeah, and my dark empress said she wants to hang, Phoebe. She wants to hang! <laughs> We gotta shut down your stupid plans. What were they? Oh, the next one was... Iced tea served. That one. <laughs> Iced tea with no lemon. You are evil. <laughs> so I said to the Prime Minister, that's not my hat, that's my... <laughs> don't you want? Good gracious, dear. My word. <laughs> Good show, old sport. <laughs> To you all. That was a juicy one, Mrs. C. Okay, tea time's over. How's the soup? Hmm. Needs more soup. Okay, what else do we need to stop? Uh oh, the scorpions. Scorpions? Uh, I'll keep them distracted, and you two go round up the scorpions. And no using powers, or Dad won't lift the rule. Go, 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 go. One gallon of hot sauce? Eh, what do I know about soup? <laughs> and that's why you never bring a donkey on a yacht. <laughs> So, uh, Cole, why don't you tell everyone how you made the winning shot at the basketball game? No, I don't want to bore everyone. Three, two, one. So, I'm at half court with seven seconds left on the clock. Oh, gross. Why is that gross? 
Uh, gross is the new awesome. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Well, I get the ball and decide to go for a three-point. Oh, that's disgusting. It is? Uh, yeah, disgusting is the new gross. <laughs> Continue. Well, it went in right at the buzzer and we won. Totally disgusting. Mrs. Campbell, did you know that our butler, William here, is also a very sought-after hairstylist? Really? What would you do for my hair? I would start whacking it really hard, like this. Oh, 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 good heavens, oh, oh, oh. Mad tiny servant! That will be $500. Super sir. Oh, good. I'm starved. Nora, please don't tell me you put hot sauce in the soup. It's more like their soup in the hot sauce. <laughs> don't eat the soup! <laughs> because it's a smelling soup. A smelling soup? Yeah, you just smell it. Like they do in uh, Sweden. France. 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 <laughs> Nonsense. Let's have a taste. <laughs> Sweet mother of minestrone! <laughs> oh, that's worse. That is it. I have had just about enough. It has been nothing but mischief and shenanigans since we arrived. Come, Campbells. It's Mr. Big Boudet. He hates it when people call him Big Booty. <laughs> but to be fair, that is one big booty. Wait, who? <laughs> Who's making a crack? Is it someone in the rear? <laughs> I'll laugh while you can, because I've graded your exams, and soon you'll be the butt of the joke. <laughs> Max, what is that? It's a proton particle power booster. Made it with spare parts no one was using. Oh, come on! <laughs> this is for Max Thunderman Day. Oh, yeah, what is that? On the 12th of doesn't exist you -ary? Snark away, but after I pull the best prank the school's ever seen, there'll be a whole day named after me. Check it out. I'm gonna clamp these cables to a giant turkey. Okay, for legal reasons, we should stop listening to him now. <laughs> Cherry, here's your exam. You got 100% oh. of the answers wrong. Oh. Miss Thunderman, B. Back up, big booty. Phoebe is the best student in this class. She studies hard and gets A's. It's her thing. Cherry, calm down. But she's right. It's my thing. <laughs> Sir. Max, what is that? This? Just a simple machine I made, Mr. Big Boudet. Oh, like the simple jalapeno toilet paper you made last week? <laughs> I'll lock it in the cabinet so no boudet gets hurt. <laughs> I give that joke an A. Speaking of A's, uh, shouldn't I have gotten one? I don't think I got anything wrong. You didn't, but I don't give A's to anyone, ever. It's my thing. <laughs> Phoebe? Looks like we've got a big, big booty problem. It's big booty! All right, Mr. Supervillain. You think pranks are so much fun? Let's see if you like wiping out on your greasy slide. Oh, hey, Nora, I was just greasing Max's slide. I'm in. I was about to get in the shower. Billy, you ruined my dark mayhem poster. Thanks, I'm fine. Billy, that prank was meant for Matt. Jake, shows are fun. I think I'll go see one now. This was your big prank, Phoebe. 
Turning our little brother into a torpedo? It was supposed to be you. I would never endanger our siblings. Hey, guys. What'd I miss? Lame, Phoebe. Lame. Just you wait. I am going to come up with the best prank ever, even if it takes me all night. Morning, sunshine. So I gave you all night. Did you come up with the best prank ever yet? Because I did. <laughs> oh, I am so giving you back for this. Sorry, I don't speak morning breath. I think you're going to be late for biology. Ready to save the day, Electris? You know it, Thunderman. Take that, Governor! Put the shit in your face! A thousand daggers of pain! Hiya, Phoebe! Is this what you do when we're not home? We will ask the questions here, Missy. Why aren't you at school? Yeah. Nice save. Because Max pranked me again, and I'm really, really mad. And so is Mr. Grumbles. Sounds like it's time I dropped the thunder on that boy. No, hang on, Hank. According to chapter six of my book, Letting Your Teenagers Work Their Issues Out on Their Own, you should let your teenagers work their issues out on their own. What's chapter seven called? You wasted $22.95 on this book, sucker! Phoebe, I think you should respond however you think is necessary. Good. Then I'm gonna take this pranks thing to the next level and really hit Max where it hurts. Well, no. Thanks, Mom. No, 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 no. I wasn't ready. I know. That's why I started. What's your book say about that? Sucker! Away first. You go first. You're closer. You go. Fine. Mess up, mess up, mess up! Not cool! Only one rule in trash wars. Win. Also recycle. Coming round the mountain when she comes, when she comes, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. You startled me. What are you doing? Taking a shower. Do you think this lustrous, shiny fur just happens? Poor Phoebe, waking up in school in front of all those kids. I feel bad for her. <laughs> Max Thunderman. This is Dark Mail of the League of Master Villains. <laughs> yeah, right. Nice prank, Phoebe. This is not a prank, and I am not Phoebe! Do you think your sister is capable of hacking your computer? Nora, maybe, but Phoebe, definitely not. Wow. Dark Mayhem, you're, you're so cool. If I could be any supervillain when I grow up, I'd, I'd want to be you. If your dark side is half as good as your butt kissing, you're well on your way. You have real supervillain potential. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! I always knew it! <laughs> I mean, thanks, man. Smooth! So, what's first? Do we jump right into world domination, or start with a meet and greet breakfast or brunch? It depends on your schedule. Silence! Before you are accepted into the League of Master Villains, we need you to pass a test. One that will prove you will do anything we tell you. Anything. No questions asked. So, when do we start? That was a question! Sorry, sorry, sir. Now, listen carefully. You can do this, Max. You can do this. Max Thunderman, did you follow my orders? Yes, sir. 
League of Master Villains, here I come. Congratulations, Max. You are now officially... Pranked! See me? Aloha, girlfriend! It's a nice try. Too bad everyone's still in class. Are they? something awesome. I love awesome things. I love them more. It's a very rare and exotic plant. Phoebe doesn't know what awesome means. It's a Limpopo flytrap. My science teacher chose me to take care of it for the weekend. It's a huge honor. Why do they call it a flytrap? That's why. Cool! I bet it could eat anything. Yeah, it's like the plant version of Dad. <laughs> That is pretty awesome. I wonder what else I can scarf down. Let's try some pudding. What? No. <laughs> and please, don't touch it. It's on a special diet of flies and rationed water, and it's my responsibility. If anything happens to it, I'll be... Hey, where's the plant? Whoa. Come on, Phoebe. It's been my lifelong dream to see a plant eat weird stuff. Since when? Since I found out there was a plant that could eat weird stuff. Well, no one is touching this except me. And a few unsuspecting flies. So you guys want to see the plan eat stuff? No way, Phoebe said we can't touch it. All right, she can't hear you. What's your real answer? I want to see a chow down on Billy. Yeah! Wait. Okay. Three drops for dinner. That's all you're allowed. You were so cute. I'd kiss you if you didn't have fly breath. You need a name. How about Trevor? Oh, don't worry, Trevor. I won't leave your side for anything. Baby, Cole Campbell's on the phone. Sweet cheese. Later, Trevor. <laughs> Hi, Cole. Hey, Phoebe. I'm handsome and want to go on a million, billion dates with you. Yeah, baby. <laughs> baby. Uh, I'll call you back. What are you guys up to? Max! Not so fast! Give me back Trevor! You named your plant Trevor? He looks more like a Paul. I like Fernando. Fernando. <laughs> His name is Trevor, and no one's feeding him anything. Well, you heard her. We're not feeding anything to Trevor. But we can feed Fernando. Can I help you? Ah! We were just here to uh, look for my red pencil. Here it is. That's a green pencil. <laughs> Let's not get hung up on colors. <laughs> See ya. Hey, you're coming with me. Max! I can't believe you dragged Billy and Nora into this. Really? You can't believe I'd do anything to pursue my selfish goals? <laughs> You're right, I totally believe it. None of this would have happened if you just let us feed the plants some cool stuff. Alert, alert, parental transmission. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Max. We're just calling to check in. How's everyone doing? Good, just watching some family-friendly movies. Yep, spending quality time together. Um, and definitely not fighting. <laughs> I hope not, or I will fly back there. Why are Billy and Nora dressed like they're going to rob a museum? Uh, we were just... A morning. Poor Uncle Wilmer. Wilfred. He's gone, too? Our uncles are dropping like flies. Well, uh, guys.
gotta go. Want to keep the line open in case you want to call again. Bye. What? Bye. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You are not feeding anything to Trevor, and that's final. Well, not even these jalapeno peppers? No. <laughs> No one's gonna have them then, I guess. No, Billy. Not so fast. A huge night of in your face wrestling action is moments away. Yes. Look at that beautiful picture, Colosso. Yeah, it's like we're really there, except without the sweat. Got you covered. <laughs> nice. No. No! No! What happened? You didn't pay your cable bill. That's what happened. No, nope, this can't be happening. Aw, no reception. Guess you won't be needing the TV. Baby, what did you do to my satellite dish? Moi. Oh, that's French for I hit it and I'm taking the TV. Touche. That's French for na 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 na. Come on, Max, you know how important this night is to me. All of my friends are waiting upstairs. Oh, all your friends are waiting upstairs? Well, that changes nothing. So, neither of us gets to watch anything? Well, I get to watch you stomp out of my room with your elbows going every which way. I don't do that, and I am not gonna let you ruin my party. Look, I know the pressure of the solo spot is getting to us, so I bought you a smoothie. Oh, hey, Cherry, did you see what I did there? I just let yesterday's spitball roll off my back. V is now a fan of the Phoebes. <laughs> v did that, didn't she? You and I are enemies. And 16 ounces of butt kiss isn't going to change that. This solo spot is mine. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Technically, your plan worked. I mean, it is rolling off your back. I'll get you a towel. See, Mom's advice is working out well for you. Ready to try revenge? I'm in. Whoa, 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 hear me out. For centuries, revenge was... Wait, you're in? Totally, I can't let her get in my head before the audition. Perfect, because I did some research, and turns out if Veronica fails her next math assignment, she'll get kicked out of choir. Do you have a plan? I have several, but only one that keeps us out of jail. <laughs> I'm gonna replace her tutor with a new tutor, Max Thunderman. Then you sabotage your homework and she fails. So devious. It's so exciting. Welcome to the dark side. Here's our handbook, a keychain, and a t-shirt. Cute. The dark side's not cute, Phoebe. My baby girl says she earned an A. She's gonna get that A. I'm gonna call Principal Bradford. I'll arrange a little parent-teacher conference, and we will figure this thing out. Oh, great idea. Nobody gets anything past your dad. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You are the best. <laughs> oh, hey, you left the back door open. Billy. Laura. Max. Max. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the whole time, and I still don't know how this happened. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is for a prank. It's gonna be so big, the school's gonna name an entire day after me. Dancing Turkey Head Day? No, Max Thunderman Day. You know the chemical in turkeys that make you super sleepy after you eat them? Of course, it's one of the top 10 evil chemicals. Right after the stuff in asparagus that makes you tinkle smell. Well, when I steal my machine back, I'm gonna use it to boost that turkey chemical and make super sleepy sandwiches for all my classmates. Then when they fall asleep, you're gonna draw mustaches on them, right? I am now. <laughs> What are you doing here? Dad's having his parent-teacher conference with Mr. Beg Boudet. Ooh, how was your interview at Clown College? This is my camouflage outfit. I've got to get back in there and get my power booster back. Good luck, because he's coming. Uh... 
Sorry I doubted your plan. Well, turns out Mr. Beg Boudet has hit bottom and is tired of turning the other cheek. <laughs> the point is he quit. He quit? But what about my grade? You're gonna have to ask your new chemistry substitute. Will he be here tomorrow? I sure will. Wait, Dad, you're gonna be your new chemistry sub? Why not, right? He went to college, he's got a license, and he's a scientific genius. What did you call water again? H2O. Stop showing off, Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> hey, come on, let me show you around. Hey, you, show this guy around. Dad can't be a sub here. How am I gonna pull off my prank with Thunderman roaming the halls? I think it's great. He'll right wrongs, stamp out injustice, and give helpless students the A's they deserve. I'm not giving up yet. As long as no one can see me, this isn't over. Hey, babes. Hey, Max. I'm a locker. Good news, Colosso. Got a new girlfriend and ready to take a big step. Putting on deodorant. <laughs> because suddenly, what I smell like matters. Oh, I get it. Silent treatment. This must be because I violated the bunnies before honey's coat. Max! Ow! Freeze kick, what's next? A super wedgie? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. You got Veronica an A on her homework. You were supposed to help me get revenge, not become her boyfriend. Phoebe, I know you're mad. Continue. That's it, I just know you're mad. How could you betray your own sister? We were on the same side. Promises were made. T-shirts were printed. Yeah, that's the thing about the dark side, Phoebe. You don't know who to really trust. You would know that if you read the handbook. You know what? I don't need your help or your dark side. I can get that soul spot on my own with the power of my voice. Huh, that is fun. What do we do? What do we do? Relax, Phoebe. We just get Dad to say the words, I love you, Blobbin. And how do we do that? The same way I got him to tell the principal I was sick last week. Please excuse Max from school today. He is sick with a cold. You didn't have a cold last week? No, but I did record Dad saying the word cold also sick, school, and all those other words. Then I just pieced them together in this app. It's actually pretty easy. Check it out. My name is Phoebe. I'm a duty head. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, I think you do. Wow, Max, you are a genius. Thank you, Phoebe. <sighs> There they are. We need to get closer. <sighs> okay, now all we have to do is record Dad saying, I love you, Blobbin. It is their anniversary. Shouldn't be too hard to get the I love you part. I'm gonna rip that door right off its hinges. Uh, well, uh, I got I and hinges. Wait, Max. Dad wrote Mom a love poem. Ew. It's romantic. And it's what's gonna save us. Watch. See? Check it out. Here it says, I love you. But now it says, I love you, Blobbin. Wow, Phoebe, you're a genius. Well, hurry up, genius. He's looking for it. Barb, I have something for you. I could have sworn it was my pocket. Oh, wait. I must have dropped it. It's got really wrinkled. You ready to record? For our anniversary, I wrote you a poem. From your hair, to your eyes, to your heart that's true, 
These are all the reasons that I love you. Blubbin! Why did he say Blubbin? Uh, uh, there were two more verses. I I'm so sorry, Barb. You know I love you. Blubbin! Call her Blubbin! It's not gonna happen. He just said I love you. What do we do now? You know, Max, I'm always saying we don't dress up as a cow nearly enough. You never say that. Well, I'm saying it now. <gasps> I can't believe your dad turned a supervillain into a bunny. Can I pet him? Absolutely not. I'm very rich. Stop behind the ears. <laughs> coochie, coochie, coo. Coochie, coochie, coo. All right, all right, that's enough. We're not dating. So, love it. You're tough on the outside, but just how tough are you? Well, why don't you give it a shot? <laughs> Come on, super punch me. <laughs> it's like a soothing massage for my tummy. <laughs> my turn, Billy. I'm bringing the heat. Have the I love you. Now we just need to get Dad to say Blobbin. Why do you get to be the head and I have to be the butt? Because it was my idea to write Blobbin on the dessert menu and, well, you're a butt. <laughs> oh, I totally wasn't talking to you. You seem lovely. <laughs> I'm sorry tonight went so bad, but I have a surprise in store for you later. Is it a cow? <laughs> hey there, cowpokes. How about dessert? Thank you. <clears throat> oh. Since there's only one thing on the menu, I guess we'll have that. Uh, what? This. Cows can't read. Yeah, but you're not a real cow. Just say it! Oh, the butt talks too. All right, fine. Uh, we'll have the vanilla ice cream blob in hot fudge. Got it. Thank you. I think that cow took my biscuit. Uh, ready? Ready. Hello, Blobbin? Hey, Phoebe, what's up? Well, my dad's here and he has something to say to you. Shh. I'm so sorry, but you know I love you. Blob in. Oh, I love you too, Cousin Hank. <laughs> Going? Please excuse Max from school today. He is sick with a cold. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, what about Phoebe? Is she all right? My name is Phoebe. I'm a duty head. No! No, you're just going through your awkward years. Okay, Blobbin, well, we have to go, but you'll call your people and fix the car? Blah, absolutely. Anything for my pal Hank, who loves me. Hey, Max. Oh, why do I get the feeling you just tutored me? It was the only way I could get you to believe how horrible she is. So you were willing to help me even after I betrayed you? Of course. You're my brother. Thanks. That's really nice. Hey, isn't your audition right now? Aw, you put my audition in your phone? Actually, this is a reminder to wish Veronica good luck beating you. <laughs> Wait, you're missing your audition to help me? Yeah, this was more important. Uh, Phoebe, enough with being nice. You have to get in there and beat the girl who broke my heart. Snap out of it, Wednesday. <laughs> that concludes our auditions, everyone. I've decided our solo spot goes to... Wait! I'm here to audition. Uh, sorry, Phoebe. Auditions ended at 4 o'clock. But the clock says it's 3.58. What? How did that happen? Fine. You've got two minutes to dazzle me, and then I'll make my decision. <sighs> mm. 
Just put a smile on your face and make the world a better place. Cause there is beauty that's around. She's you. good. Time for her to choke. Lend a hand, help out someone's day. Be the kind of friend that's there Not on Wednesday's say. watch. I'll be standing right beside you. And this is the kind of world I dream of. The kind of world I dream of. The kind of world I dream of every night. And this is the kind of world I Let's see if she can handle Evan's Don't Say Goodbye chocolate cream pie. The kind of world where everything's Hearing all the candidates sing, I've decided to award the solo spot to Phoebe Thunderman. You have got to be kidding me. This is so not cool. Nice shot. Thanks. Aim for the hangy thing. <laughs> 